What's good, fellow investors? I'm back with my second episode of Royal Investment Therapy. And I'm going to go back and uh, reflect on some of the things that I said in my first episode when I opened up about three months ago. So um, one of the first things I have done since that episode, I changed the logo. So my Royal K Films logo is not the same anymore. I changed it because my last name is Royal. Shannon Royal, so I changed my logo to Royal Films. I didn't see the point of having the K for Keen Quality Films. I eliminated that from my logo. And um, investing into uh, your brand, so you know, expanding. I've been looking at different approaches, different aspects of like my brand instead of just taking pictures. I'm looking into more of the video approach, even though that's what I've been doing with Nichols Athletics as I've been here at Nickel State University. So um, like with the video approach, I've been looking into music videos and you know, just different things like that, bettering my effects and my graphics, just building my brand, taking it step by step, day by day, making sure that I get better in that aspect. But um, for this episode, I'm reflecting back on the first episode, but you know, today I will talk about the foreign exchange market, um, financial advisors, and I also will speak about um, other aspects of the stock market, like uh, some things that has been going on, like the GameStop um, change with uh, Robinhood and other things, Elon Musk, him speaking out on um, Dogecoin and uh, just things of that aspect. So, um, and then another thing I wanted to reflect on from the other episode was student loans like I didn't mention that just starting a student loan your freshman year it will help you to start your credit history I probably spoke on building credit month by month but just starting credit history it's a good thing to start a student loan because of that I know a lot of people don't like to start student loans because you know it's student debt but just having one loan like for one semester that will help just to start credit history and as it accumulates over time, it's good by having that from your freshman year when after you graduate. But um, looking into the foreign exchange market, AKA Forex. So I actually did Forex before. So with my experience, um, you know, you kind of can learn a skill from YouTube, but there are recruiters and influencers out there that come around and they try to, you know, impact other people or recruit them to the opportunity to go and take a chance in the foreign exchange market with them. Many people are discouraged from the opportunity by the impactors because, you know, who is just going to believe, hey, man, you know, you can come make money from your phone like this. So many people, they like to, what is the word I'm looking for? Many people, they um, basically give credit to the foreign exchange market by saying, you know, you can make money from your phone, but no one is just going to believe that. So um, basically, like what they talk about is iMarkets Live. And like with iMarkets Live, there is an initial registry fee, which is $174, $174.99, basically $175. So price for included materials. Basically, that's like you know, study pamphlets and stuff, videos that you can watch, and just like many things that you can study in the market that helps you to learn like, you know, what is a step in the market, or just, when I say step in the market, I mean as far as like a pip in the foreign exchange market, moving from, you know, each point to, uh, you know, just taking a step and how much money that's worth when you move in the market, or just moving around in the market. It teaches you different strategies. So. You know, it's basically like a study guide for the market is what these people, they, um, basically what they are selling when they try to get other people to join the market. But like these impactors, they promote the market for their own good. So like if I were to say, hey, you know, do you want to join a foreign exchange and I send you my links and stuff like that, you know, join Forex to come trade with a group. There's like trading groups that they all participate in the foreign exchange market together. So if I was to do that, then me saying, hey, come participate with me, that means that now you would be under me. So if you become 
one of the people that I help get into the market and you're under me, then you have to get other people to get under you and it'll benefit you because then you don't have to pay a monthly fee in the foreign exchange market. So there's a monthly fee of, well, actually it's a monthly fee of 174, but the entry fee in the foreign exchange market is, I think it's 234. Yeah, I think it's I think it's two thirty four. I'm not sure because I haven't been doing foreign exchange much, but um, I just wanted to speak about that for a little while, and then uh, even with um, well, next my next topic is uh, financial advisors. So, you know, Meyer Financial, that's a group here in uh, Thibodeau, Louisiana. I'm a student at Nichols, so you know Thibodeau, but um. If you were wondering, like, what can a financial advisor do for you, you know, it's not just about bringing money and placing it on stocks and bonds, but, you know, going to a financial advisor, they can teach you how to, like, you know, look at, like, basically how to set your life up depending on how much money you might be making at your job. So, you know, they can teach you about, like, your 401k or, you know, how to start investing into that or when should you start investing into it, what is a good idea, you know, but they won't just tell you, like, okay, well, here's a stock, go buy this stock, or, you know, something like that. So, basically, um, one of the guys I spoke with from Meyer Financial is uh, Chris Callahan, and, you know, he explained how being a financial advisor is not a personal investor, but more like a financial planner. So, you know, here's something from Chris Callahan. The account. Right, so... Like for, you know, majority of your um, clients, do you have like a lot of, um, you know, young customers or is it majority? Yeah, like, you know? yeah. So the, the, the biggest thing that we see in young customers is obviously somebody who is wanting to open up a little IRA, a Roth IRA, traditional IRA, and just try to get some retirement savings started. So let's say they go work at Shaw Bills or they go work at Wendy's or anything like that. Right. They may say, hey, look, Chris, I want to start an IRA account, and I want to save $50 out of every paycheck to go to my IRA account to help me in retirement. Or a young a young client may say, hey, look, I got $20,000 in my checking account. I only feel like I need 5000 in my checking account. I want to invest $15,000. Um, and then, so we'll see investments like that with younger clients. And then the other the other. I guess demographics of clients that we'll see is is when you, you get when when you really start starting a family. I guess I should say is when let's say somebody in their mid twenties to late twenties, and now they're they're married. Um, they've been yeah. married for a little while, and they never really thought about finances until they start having kids. When you start having kids and stuff, you switches start triggering in people's heads, and they're like, "Man, I don't know about life insurance and all this stuff." That's when they'll start to come to us, and we'll really start doing a financial plan and help them with. Look, let's let's get some life insurance placed if something were to happen to you, um, et cetera. So a younger client, a lot of times, will be clients, and we'll do financial planning and never even talk about investment. Also, referring back to developing a brand, Chris Callahan explained how f- financial advisors can help with getting an LLC. So when you develop your brand, when you feel like you know you're at the point where you want to. Um, turn it into an LLC. Financial advisors can help you by aiding you to conquer that. And speaking of the exchange market and trading, you know, like I was stating earlier about uh, Dogecoin, coin, Dogecoin, I will speak about that. And that's one of the stocks that is on the rise right now. And it's selling, it's selling sh- uh, shares for cheap. So, you know, from uh, Forbes.com, I read an article from Robert Hart, and Dogecoin has been being bought frequently. It really has been being bought like a lot because of the crash with, uh, not the crash, but basically because GameStop was selling a lot. Um, Robinhood, they slowed the market down, so they kind of like closed those off. So they closed off GameStop and AMC. So, um, you know, people could not purchase those at the frequent we at the frequent frequent rate that they were buying them at. So, um, you know, now it's just a limited buy. So only a certain amount of people can buy um, GameStop and AMC on Friday. So, you know, um, but it really is a good time to purchase Dogecoin right now. 
because uh, Elon Musk on Twitter, whenever he speaks about it, then it'll definitely shoot up. But right now, it's kind of like a half of a penny right now. I think it's at a uh, maybe like four point four is not even at a penny yet. So you know, when it makes it to a penny, then yes, it'll. Well, not a penny. It's it's over a penny. I'm sorry. It's basically like what is it? It's basically half of a dollar right now. So it's at like 40 cent right now. So um, that was just, that was a tongue twist of, you know. Uh, yeah, but uh, it will be at a dollar, like if Elon Musk speaks of it. I'm not saying guaranteeing that it would be at a dollar, but it's a chance that it could happen if he speaks about it on Twitter and a lot of people buy it. So it's a good time to get into Dogecoin right now. And um. You know, basically they're trying to make that the cryptocurrency version of GameStop and AMC. So a lot of people bought those and they went up, but they did uh, close those out so a lot of people couldn't buy. So, you know, when it does go up, it'll be a good time to get out. So you'll have your, um, you know, your gains from the trade or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you.